Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage, and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi folks, welcome back to another project for the altered book. I'm gonna play with some images I have from the different stages of a butterfly, from the egg to the young adult uh, caterpillar to an from the young to the old caterpillar, sorry about, to the pupa and then to the butterfly. It happened to be uh, eight pictures I have, so I was thinking about uh, four on one side and four on the back side and I'm gonna fold it and add more stuff. Uh, I'm gonna play with muslin, which is uh, going through the washing machine to the hot cycle and I didn't bother to iron it I just did like try it somewhat flat so I'm gonna leave it like that I want the wrinkles um, in case you don't have those pictures go to the internet and print you out something I'm sure there is stuff there and as long as you use it for your personal stuff and not trying to sell you're fine. We're gonna use, I told you, keep the pages uh, we have cut out from the when we were preparing the book and I also have a napkin which is sort of a greenery, gray, uh, it's not not a focal image, it's an all overall pattern. Look for something like that. I'm gonna use the sewing machine to again attach my pages to the fabric. That's what I have planned. But we're gonna start with the pages. And you have to adapt to the size of the book you have and to the pictures you have. I'm gonna remove the two layers. Some napkins have two, some have white layers. I only want the printed part. So. I keep those for mopping up. Okay, now as I said we need four pages on the back side and uh, four pages, four images on the back side. So we need two pages I think. Something like that. And then I'm going to slightly overlap here. Yeah, that should work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach those pages together. I'm thinking I'm gonna add first a little bit of gesso here. Now I'm gonna use a baby wipe. I don't wanna uh, total coverage. I just want a light layer of gesso. It is pretty much dry and I decided I'm gonna put it in a whole in one piece. I think it's better. I have to patch it here over here obviously but but now because we want to put it into the flaps I do leave the same amount as I have the flaps which is roughly half an inch here untouched with the napkins at least. I have already chess on it. So means this part I'm gonna glue in later. Like we did with the other piece. So I'm gonna start with the napkin somewhat here. Okay. And I think I'm going to cut it roughly. 
give me some leeway because I'm not known to cut straight. <laughs> so, okay, that goes here. Mm -hmm. And then I need a little piece, and nice would be if I can. And I'm going to go outside with this spray. Every time when I have a large area to add napkins, I want this repositionable spray. I would recommend do it either in a well-ventilated area or as I do, I'm going to go outside, spray my paper here and then I will be back. I'm gonna Now it is napkin, it is very thin, so you start to feel the glue through the napkin. So I'm still going to add my matte medium, but first I need to cut back here. I'm going to add the Liquitex matte medium. You can use any matte medium, but it has to be a liquid. You could even go with Mod Podge if you like. Now I'm gonna cover the papers completely. That's gonna seal in also the spray adhesive. I did rip it here. So I'm gonna get rid of the pieces I ripped off. And I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery. just to camouflage it a bit and I do use uh, teared edges they blend in even more easily maybe that's gonna even be covered up with the other pictures who knows so I think I'm gonna try that now it is pretty much dry and looking at those things I'm thinking I'm gonna knock back the napkin itself a little bit too means I'm gonna add gesso again just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna sew my fabric first to the paper here just in case it doesn't work I haven't ruined my butterfly images and caterpillar images that would be a bummer <laughs> so safety first <laughs> fabric so here we have the salvage from the weaving I don't like that either so I'm gonna tear another piece I want the frayed edges Now, obviously, I can't use pins, but I want to fix it somehow. Okay. 
I do use the same threads I have used in the other project, which is an embroidery thread. But again, if you don't have it, you could use an, an ordinary sewing thread too. Crease it a little bit for the accordion part. And this part has to go in. But they're gonna glue in here. I want to make it out stand out a little bit more so I'm gonna cut myself papers in black I think just with a tiny little border so while I was looking through my black papers I came across uh, this um, scrapbook paper and I kind of like that even better now those are the same width but some of them are the same width so I'm gonna first cut this one Now I have glued them and I went over with matte medium also over the whole also the magazine pages and then decided I want to stitch again but this time just with um, straight stitch maybe on a three which is the I have like four sizes one two three four four is the biggest so I'm gonna go for a three So I have finished my little images upside down. Um, I have, as I said, I have folded and because there is paper in it, it actually uh, stays really the way it is. So now comes the part where I have to glue those pieces to the paper side and to the fabric side and just to be on the safe side I'm going to use gel mat whenever I want something to stick I use a gel medium and because we want to close the book I'm going to use a gel mat not a gloss gloss tends to stick more I know I'm repeating myself but uh, I never know how much people know already who are watching my videos so for those who don't know or who don't do know already I'm sorry but I just want to make sure that people know it I'm gonna start of course with the egg and I'm making sure it's not so I have to go here quite to the edge of the flap which I'm gonna glue in later into the book now there are several ways I could do it like something like that that's actually the first that's the young that's what the caterpillar looks now 
that has to go in here and I'm actually gonna cut back here the fringes because I don't think um, I need them and I think it's even better without them so I have a pet better grip to the book now for that I'm gonna use tacky glue and um, I'm gonna close the flaps up from top to bottom and put the thingy in between. That looks awfully crooked here. Is it? Yes it is. So I have to cut it back here a little bit. As I said, being straight is not one of my 40. Okay, so we need the glue. Like on both sides, especially there where we put in our accordion mini booklet. It oozes out here a bit, so I make sure that I don't glue together, but not should be glued together. Again. heavy box and let it dry you're gonna see a picture what it looks like at the end of the video I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again and in the meantime keep on creating